Hey guys, in this video we're gonna talk about how you can make your own shirt in Roblox. So make sure to watch till the very end. Alright, so let's begin. Creating shirts in Roblox involves designing custom clothing items for avatars using the platform's built-in tools. Users with a premium membership or a Roblox account that meets specific criteria can access the Roblox avatar shop and use the create option to design shirts. All right, so we're going to be using a website called PhotoP. PhotoP is a versatile online image editing platform that offers a wide range of features similar to Adobe Photoshop, making it a popular choice for both casual users and professionals. It is also completely free, so you don't need to worry about anything. Now we're going to search up Roblox shirt template, and you might want to search it up along with transparent at the end. Now you need to make sure that it has 585 times 559 resolution and also make sure you're getting the right thing. When you preview the image, it should be white or black. But when you click on it, it should be checkers. If it's checkers before you click on it, then it means that it is not a PNG. So locate the file that matches the description. We could use this one, but I kind of want to use this one. Once you've selected the target image, right click on it and select copy image from the menu. After that, go back to the photo P website and paste the image by pressing Ctrl plus V. Now we're going to go to the left side menu and select rectangle. After that, create a new rectangle by clicking and dragging it over the canvas. After that, put the shape under the background. Now you can go here, click on fill and I'm going to select like a dark yellow sort of thing. Also note that we can always change the color around by going back to the fill section and change it to maybe a little brighter. If you make a mistake while the process, you can just press the Ctrl plus Z keys to undo and Ctrl plus Shift plus Z to redo. Now, we are going to add a brand to our shirt. For that, go to the other tab and search for the brand logo you can do like Adidas logo. So again, if you click on it and you see the checkerboard, that means that it's actually transparent. So make sure to locate one. Once you've located the image, copy it and paste it onto the canvas. For this tutorial, I'm not going to use Adidas, but I'm just showing you the example. So if we go to edit and then transform then scale, you can drag it and scale it down. Or if you want to disproportionate the image, simply hold shift and then drag. You can also go here and click on transform controls to do the same thing. So for this video, I'm going to be using a Stussy logo and I'm going to actually take it off a real life shirt. If you want to use the actual shirt, you can do that. So I'm going to use this one. Simply copy the image and then paste it onto the canvas by pressing control V. Once you've got a real life shirt, go to the rectangle select tool, drag it across the part you want, then press Ctrl plus C and then Ctrl plus V. After that, delete the shirt layer. And if it's just one solid background color, you can go to select then color range and click on the color you want to remove. Just like that. And that doesn't look too bad. Make sure you got the color removed. Now, I'm going to click on transform controls just to resize it and then place it at the target space. And I think right about there might look good. Alright, now I will duplicate it by right clicking on the layer and then selecting duplicate layer. After that, I will place it on the front of my shirt and resize it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag both of these behind the background. Also, I'm going to go to layer, then drop shadow to make it like look a little better. I'm going to remove the distance and then just increase the opacity. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to do the same to this one. Now, press Ctrl plus zero to recenter the size of the zoom. And now I'm going to put the shading. For that, go to the other tab again, search for Roblox shirt shading 
and give it a go. You know you might just gotta look around a little. Alright, maybe I like this. So just look for the one you feel comfortable about, then copy and paste it onto the canvas. Once you have got the shader, it will look something like this. Now we're going to go to the transparency of it and turn it down a little bit. You know, there's probably some better shirt shading things out there. So you might just want to look around and get a good one. But right now, I'm going to go with this one. After that, I'm just going to select this circle shape and do like a reasonable neck hole size. Alright, so once that's even, you want to go to the layer tab and then select rasterize. Now, I'm going to do Control 0 to go back. So once I have that shape selected, I'm going to go to select then subject. And then I'm going to click again on the shape itself and it should become like that. So now, I'm just going to hit delete and you might get layer is not edible. So you have to go to layer then rasterize. After that, select delete and then make sure you hit delete on the shading layer too. Then I'll just click off of it. And now we're going to go into some more detailing. Now go to the other tab again and we're going to look up ribbed material. Here look for the texture you prefer. And once you find it, open it up, copy it and then paste it on to the editing canvas by pressing Ctrl plus V keys. Now, select the Rectangle Selection tool, select a good amount of texture and press Ctrl C, then Ctrl V. After that, delete the original texture layer, and now we're going to go to Transform Controls and make it shorter. Hold Shift and then transform it to your preference. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Now we're going to change the color obviously, so we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, then Hue Saturation. Okay, that looks pretty good. And now we're going to go to the transparency on it and turn it down a little. Now I'm going to name this layer Ribbed to make it more clear for you guys. Then right click on it, then Duplicate Layer and just place it along the bottom of here. So I'm going to right click Duplicate Layer and place it along here. Now, you just have to keep right clicking and duplicating layer, or you can do Ctrl plus J. Now, we're going to add some on the sleeves. But before, we're going to turn this into a short sleeve shirt by going to the rectangle selection, then go to the background layer and do delete. And if it says like layer is not editable, go to layer and select rasterize. Alright, now, I'll just click off of it and also take the shading material and move it just behind the background so it makes everything look better. All right, now what we're going to do is you see all these rib materials, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift and select all of these. I'm just going to right click and duplicate layer like that. After that, you might want to hit Ctrl plus G to group them. So now I'm going to check everything and resize them to my preference. Now I'm going to the circle tool and then I'm going to go around the neck hole like this. Make sure it looks pretty even and I'm going to put this above the shading. Then I'm going to right click on here and do the circle select. And again, make sure it like looks pretty even. It's probably a better way of going about this, but I don't know that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to go to select and then layer then rasterize. So then I'm going to hit delete. Now I'm going to right click select line and I was going to place these along. You can hold shift to make them straight and I'm going to make them a little darker just like that and then I'm going to keep doing that and you know this is just kind of an extra detail you can do or you can just skip this step if you want and now it's pretty good. Also I'm just going to press shift select all of these and I'm going to want to turn the transparency down a little bit. A little transparent looks good and also, I'm going to go to layer and rasterize. Now, that doesn't look too bad. I'm also going to hit Ctrl plus G and group these. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, now I'm going to go to the file tab, select export as PNG and save it. 
Now, make sure the quality is 100%. And if you want to come back to this, then go to File, then select Save as PSD right here. Now, even if I close the Photo P website and open it again, then if I go to the open file and then select that PSD again, you can see we'll return to it again and we can edit it. Having a backup PSD file of an edited image offers several advantages. Firstly, it provides a safeguard against accidental loss or corruption of the original image or its edits. If something goes wrong during the editing process, or if the final version of the image doesn't meet expectations, having the PSD file allows users to revert to previous versions or make necessary adjustments without starting from scratch. Once the exporting is done, open a new tab and search for roblox.com. Now, the official Roblox website will open up. After that, make sure that your Roblox account is signed in and you will be redirected to the home page of your account where all of the available games will be present. Here, go to the Creator tab, then select Creations from the left side menu. Now, go to Avatar Items, Classic Shirts, then Upload Asset. Here, select the shirt we just created and upload it onto your Roblox account. Now, I'll just name it Stussy Classic and click on Upload. After that, access the shirt again, and if you want to put it on sale, you can click that. Choose the price, and publish it at the cost of 10 Robux. Since you are using Roblox as a platform, Roblox will simply keep 30% of what you sell online on Roblox, while the other 70% will go to your account. As you can see, it'll take about 15 minutes for you to actually see it in a Roblox game. Sometimes the process is faster, while other times, it takes hours just to get approved by Roblox community. Also note that, Roblox imposes strict guidelines for uploading assets to its platform to ensure a safe and appropriate environment for its users. All uploaded assets, including models, meshes, audio and textures, must adhere to Roblox's community standards, which prohibit any content that is discriminatory, sexually explicit, excessively violent, or otherwise inappropriate for a diverse audience, particularly children. That's how you can make your own shirt in Roblox. So that's all for today's video. If you find this helpful, consider subscribing and giving this a big thumbs up. Thanks.